I, I called her up and, and I told her, like, it's time. This is time, like, we're gonna do this. We're all grown up. Uh, it's time, let's do this. Partnership breakups are never easy and like, I remember it was like so hard. So Sarah, Sarah broke up with me in 2017, 2018 and she already had summer set up. And I didn't have anything set up because she broke up with me. You know, you always see in beach volleyball like, oh, if it's not going well, like people break up, they try new things and like. Being advised by people like, you know, the grass is greener, you know, somewhere else maybe like came into play. You know, we weren't getting like amazing results. I think we're both very young. We had so much success in college and I think maybe this just like isn't our time together. Let's take some time apart. But then the, the partnership kind of soured. They kind of needed to go separate ways for their own personal growth, I think. And uh, I don't think it's out of the question that these two get back together one day soon. I think they would be an amazing team. The first time Sarah and I met, was in Huntington Beach. She had been training with a guy named Bill Lovelace and I was actually verbally committed to play indoor at Long Beach State at the time. And the coaches there suggested that, you know, I go try beach. And they introduced me to this guy, Bill Lovelace, who trains down in Huntington. She was training in Huntington for a little bit with like the same coach I did. So drove down with my dad and um, got out on the beach and did not know what I was doing. I was out there like open hand tipping and the girls would just like catch the ball and like not tell me like what I did wrong. I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and I met Sarah down there. So I didn't train with her a lot, but like I knew of Kelly and then we played each other in indoor a couple of times. And I think the under 19 beach national team coach, John Aharoni suggested to her that she talked to me. Uh, but one of my coaches, John Aharoni was like, oh, we have this girl, her name's Kelly. Like maybe you guys can connect. She was like, hey, like, do you want to play in like a CVVA or something? And I was like, sure, what's that? <laughs> so. And that was kind of like the rest is history. I guess that's how we met and then like how it all started. But like, I think the first time like we officially really like connected and met and got on the court together was for like U19 uh, USA, like we were gonna go to the youth world championships together. Um, came home with a bronze medal, which was like pretty cool. And when we got back from that tournament in Portugal, um, a handful of beach coaches reached out SC being one of them. So say there was like a little bit like, oh, maybe you should go to SC with me and play beach instead of indoor. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think Kelly's exact will be like, oh, Sarah forced me to go to USC. She for sure influenced a little, but it was more like me and my dad, like sitting, talking, praying through like, what do I want to do? <laughs> and I always kind of nudged her like, hey, like I just committed to USC just to play beach. Like, why don't you give it a chance? Maybe you can go check it out. Um, because I was like, wow, it would be great if we could play together. So yeah, I decided to go to SC. Crazy. And just play beach. We won, I, I have four big pretty rings. So we graduated in 17, and then we started playing professionally right away. I mean, we had already started playing a little bit in college, which was so fun, like during the summers. I think we just played that, that entire season together right after college. We were always like so nervous. Like I remember flying out to New York and it's like, all right, we got to grind through the qualifier. Let's do this and qualifying. It was just like, oh, so surreal. And it's crazy like thinking back on that. And so um, what happened? You know, we're making our way professionally, but getting a lot of nines, not really breaking through as much. I'm sure like people are always like, what went wrong? What's happening? Like, why'd you guys break up? It just wasn't working and we just needed to grow up. Like, we were so young, we started playing together. Sarah Hughes going up against her former partner, Kelly Chang. They were the most dominant duo in the collegiate ranks, at one point winning 103 matches in a row, and now, on other sides of the net. Uh, so went out and partnered up with Brittany Hochevar. Uh, played a season together and I test out a lot of partners um, after Brit. And that's when I found Sarah Sponsel. We played three years together. And then yes, yeah, Sarah and I broke up and I didn't have a partner. And then 
I picked up Betsy. And then we broke up. Last year, just watching Sarah play with uh, Kalinske, uh, her game just through the roof. We will have a new champion. Great dig from Sarah Hughes. Quick tempo. It was really cool to see. I think in the past, playing against her was like, unless she's like 50-50, like I can pull and whatever she throws at me, like I'm gonna take care of. Like I'm not, I'm not too stressed about it. And last year it was like, dang, like don't give this girl the ball. Hughes with a huge swing. Her offense has really improved, uh, and I love how creative she started to get. But last year was like running routes here, running routes there, like using her speed, using her athleticism. And I think defensively, she's gotten worlds better. You know, it's interesting. I caught up with Sarah Hughes just prior to this match and asked her, hey, what is what is the game plan against the option of Kelly Chang? She said, but we have a game plan set up both from the blocking standpoint as well as the defensive standpoint. She's so strong, like using all of those pieces to her advantage. I was like, oh, that's fun. Like, that's something that I like to do and want to do more in my game. And that's the like creativity that I love and that I want to be a part of. So I called Sarah. Um, yeah, I called her. Oh, I could like really go into this. <laughs> what did she say? Yeah, Kelly had reached out to me and then um, we just, I texted her back right away and then we literally met up an hour after she texted me. Okay, what do I want to say? So yes, um, I called Sarah. She's in Orange County, I'm in South Bay. We met up at like a Starbucks and just talked. We just sat down for coffee and chatted about, we both want the same things. You know, we, we talked it out. We, you know, admitted that like, maybe we both made some mistakes. We, you know, really listened to each other of like how much we've grown up and what our goals are within this sport and what we want to accomplish together. And we both very much respect the people we're playing with at the time. And we were very grateful and like happy with our respective partners we were already playing with. I, I think I was maybe, I was hopeful that she would say yes, but obviously like her and Kalinske had a great season. And I mean, Betsy and I had a great season too. So I, I didn't know for sure what she was, she was gonna say. But like the reality of the situation was like no one in Team USA was consistently winning. And we kind of looked at that and we looked at each other and it was like, I think we could be that team together. She sounded like, you know, a little bit of hesitation about, you know, Jordan being the coach and, you know, we're married and what's that gonna look like? So we talked about that a ton and, you know, respect her decision of, I need to think about it for a little while. Yeah, it was, you know, one of those like, oh, let's think on it, like, let's, let's think on it. But then that night I was like about to go out to dinner and I was like going in the restaurant and I literally stepped outside and called Kelly and I said, let's do this. And I think four hours later she called me and said, let's do this. <laughs> Which I think I actually, I missed her first call. I saw the call and I was like, oh my gosh, like I gotta go guys. And I like ran outside cause just in the house, it doesn't have great service. So ran outside, called her. I was like, hey, what's up? Sorry I missed ya. And she's like, oh no, it's totally fine. Um, so let's do this. <laughs> I was like, let's go. I was pumped and like, I could see everybody like at the doorway, like looking at me as I'm like, I'm a pacer when I'm like talking on the phone and like I was sweating a little, you know, excited. And they're looking and I look over at them and like flex at them and they all start freaking out. And, and like having this time with like Sarah and I grew up, you know, and coming back together and having like all those good pieces that we had when we were in college, but now mature and like we figured out our own game and now like putting those pieces together. But I think ultimately it was so good for us. I think it was just a big chance for us to like grow up a little bit. It gave us both an opportunity to have ups and downs, you know, fall on our butts and like really grow. 
and like grow up and get better as players, develop as people. And now coming back together five years later, all grown up is I think something really, really special. But I don't think we would be the people we are today and the successful team we are right now without that happening. I think us being like so much on the same page on how much we want to grow and push each other and, and fight for each other, I think I've seen us grow more than any other team I've been on. Yeah. Awesome. Thank Love you, you dude. Love you, dude. All right, see ya.